Okay, welcome back. So, let's see. I see that I redid this a little bit. Um, let's see, that's pretty good. This way, so it's a little less warped. Okay. So, building off what we did last time, finding the big structures of the head, the turn of the face. Now uh, is a good time to use uh, the features that you found, like the angle of the nose, the ball of the nose, the line of the lips, where the eyes are, um, to help you see where the edge of the face should be. Um, I also like to go, let's see, I can just take your cheekbone and go straight down. Whoop, got a little charcoal on my nose. So if I go straight down, so what I'm doing is just taking this and make sure. And I can see that this is further out. So that means probably my cheekbone should come in a little bit more. Like that. Now when I go straight up from the cheekbone, I hit that brow line. So now what I'm going to do is start to define the features a little bit. angularize your eyes um, so that they don't just become one big almond shape that's really helpful so what I'm doing is try kind of finding this 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 and this there's almost like four parts you can sort of see where it breaks from gentle curve to something else okay now If you use your glasses, if you wear glasses all the time, I think it's it's helpful to draw them in. Don't be scared of them. Um, but if you uh, don't wear them, that's okay too. Just don't pretend they're not there, and uh, don't draw without any visual aid at all. Like so, if you're blind like me, don't draw uh, without contacts or glasses. It's just going to be really tough to see yourself. All right, so I'm going to use the glasses to help me find some of the structure in my face. Still keeping it really loose. It's okay at this point. We'll solidify it more later. Step in, step back. Does that look like you a little bit? It should, at this point, begin to. You can start to find things like the shape of the nostrils uh, and sort of like where the nose ends. Usually, the nostril here, let's see if I can show you here. The nostril usually ends about in line with the start of the eye. You see that? So that's like a straight line up there. So if you're having trouble finding where this eye should be or where the back of this nose should be, that can be helpful. Now, again, not everybody's face works that way. Some people have a bigger nose or a smaller nose. Okay, good. Now, I told you that the line of the lips is really important. At this point, you can begin to find the top of your lips and the bottom of your lips, but you 
want to be careful not to think of it too much as like an outline. Um, and really just think of it as like a soft edge. Okay, great. At this point, what we're going to do is begin to think about value. So I'm going to go turn off the lights and come back. still see? I hope so. Alright, this is, I'll try to give you as the least distortion I can without totally covering up the drawing. So, now, light coming from one side and no light coming from the other side. I'm going to really try to play into that by blocking in where I see darks as a result of the lighting structure that I have. And I need you to be kind of fearless when you do this. So don't worry about covering up anything that you've already drawn because it's still going to be there in some capacity. And you can also focus on getting a lot of stubble. Um, so you can draw that in and see my hair. And maybe some, some shadow parts in the ear. And my neck. You always want to treat your neck as an extension of your, of your head. Shouldn't be a separate thing. There's a little bit of shadow there. Under the eyes, it's almost always dark. Don't worry too much about the shapes you've already made there. You can pull them back. I know it's, it's hard to do, but it'll make life easier in the long run. Okay. Now, we are going to also do our clothes. You don't have to wear the same thing the whole time, but it is a little bit helpful. Okay, nope, oh, and eyebrows. I think it's helpful to really consider the negative space at the same time. So it's so fun to draw what's there by pulling out what's not. That really is the most fun way to draw. At least for me. I made myself a little too skinny, a little too gaunt. Uh, let's see if I can just add a little bit of cheekbone. see starting to emerge. Now your task is after you've found light side and dark side. I neglected to mention this before I should say. It's really important to set yourself up for success by having a directional light. So you've got light from just one direction uh, whether that's a window or uh, a lamp, whatever you've got that will work, uh, it's going to make your life a lot easier because it, it just helps you to see the planes of the face where you can see front to side. And you can really see the light shows you how the form is breaking across.